with an update on a star's return status and more this is wrestling rambles my name is john and you're watching the wrestling report before we move on make sure you subscribe to wrestling rambles with notifications on and don't forget to like the video At the Boston Red Sox game, WWE Women's World Champion Liv Morgan can be seen throwing the opening pitch. Promoting AEW's Brody Lee sneakers that will be made by Reebok, MJF said this on X. For the period of time that I did work with him, he was a massive human being. And I don't mean that in size, I mean that in heart and soul and spirit. When he walked into a room, you noticed him. He was just a genuinely down-to-earth, dare I say, salt-of-the-earth person. If there's one story I want to talk about, it's a zany one. After my grandfather had passed, which is around a similar time to Brody's passing I had went to a what do you call people who talk to people on the other side a medium which I didn't believe in whatsoever I'm talking to the medium and they're saying stuff about my grandfather that they couldn't possibly have known and they're telling me how my grandfather is on the other side it was honestly really it was both enlightening and made me feel good before I left they said whoa there's this big individual that has just walked in the room he's got a big scraggly beard and he said he needs you to send a message to his wife i'm like who the hell is this the medium looks at me and goes he says his wife's name is amanda amanda huber so immediately i'm freaked out right and the medium starts talking to me and i can tell she's speaking the way brody used to speak with me very tongue-in-cheek kind of ribbing me and at the end he says can you please send this message to my wife i'm not going to say what the message is that's between them i was obviously pretty spooked and i walked up to amanda at tv the next week and i tell her this insane story her eyes start welling up because she was searching for this and she got her answer that day so even in the afterlife brody really loved and cared about his wife and kids For those in WWE that made their debut at Madison Square Garden on SmackDown they would receive a gift a special moment in any WWE superstar's career, first match in the garden. So we have a little gift here for you to always uh, remember it by. Wow. Cool. No way. Let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Whoa. Oh, my God. Carmelo Hayes debut at the world's most famous arena. It's like a ticket, right? It's a silver ticket, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. No, please. Really appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. Best of luck tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is incredible. Really the experience. Very cool, man. Hey, thank you so much. Of course. This is of course. Sick, Look at part of the show, Thank you man. so much, yeah, guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Good luck, wow, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, there it is. Cool. Damn. I wonder how much I can sell that for yeah. on today. <laughs> Mentioning what is important in regards to storytelling in women's wrestling, AEW star Deanna Perrazzo told Bodyslam.net, Yeah, I think that's what every women's division needs. It's time to tell these stories and let them breathe and let fans pick who they like and don't like and then do fun things like, you know, just qualification match or add different stipulations to it. 
I think that then there's also, you know, we're dealing with the Owen Hart Foundation tournament right now. And that is an opportunity to wrestle for the world championship at all in. And then there's so many pieces going on in our division right now. That's what makes a successful division is you have your stories with the champion. You have Tony Storm and Mina coming up at Forbidden Door, but then you also have this like underlying who's Mariah going to pick story happening. You have Mercedes Monet and Stephanie Vakor wrestling at Forbidden Door and going back and forth to CMLL like there's just so much. Then you have me and Thunder total non storyline happening. You have the Owen happening like that's what you want to see in a women's division. That's a women's division you want to be be a part of if you can't be in the world title you can be doing something else building your stock to get to the world title and so i'm just again so grateful to be on any show doing anything working with anyone and continuing to build my stock and introduce myself to this new audience Going over the federal investigation into the sexual misconduct allegations against Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis, Sean Ross App of Fightful said, People in WWE are not nearly as concerned about the company personally. They expect things to be found about Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. That's just the long and short of it. From a talent standpoint, everybody feels rid of those two guys. There was a false sense of security a few years ago, but now it has been reiterated internally that there is no longer an association association there. Following his recent release from WWE, Dijak could be seen at the Blitzkrieg Pro event. Jack also posted this clip to X. What a time! What a time to be alive! Feast your eyes, because Donovan Dijak is back last night at Blitzkrieg Pro Wrestling in Enfield, Connecticut. Hang on a second, just gonna go through this door real quick. It's a beautiful, sunshiny New England day. The sun is out, the kids are playing, Donovan Dijak is playing wherever. He damn well pleases. I'm going to show up wherever I want, whenever I want, and you can feast your eyes on that because that is exactly what the Die Jack Hijack is all about. You know what? Today's such a beautiful day. It's early in the morning right now. Why don't we go for a nice little drive, huh? Maybe a maybe a four-hour drive, four-and-a-half-hour drive. I think I think that's exactly what today calls for.
given CM Punk was seemingly written off WWE television by being attacked by Drew McIntyre, Sean Ross Sapp was asked if Punk had been cleared to return to in-ring action. As he said on Fightful Select's Q&A podcast, no, he wasn't as of last Friday. That's why they had to get creative with him. When it comes to Ricochet, who has recently been moved to WWE's alumni section, facing Will Ospreay in AEW, Ringside News noted that Sean Ross Sapp reported on Fightful Select that AEW has several big matches planned for All In, but a rematch between Will Ospreay and Ricochet is not one of them. According to the report, AEW has had a general outline of the top matches they wanted AEW All In for quite some time, and Ricochet versus Will Ospreay is not part of those plans and this was your pro wrestling news update i hope you're all having a great day thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all later